For this problem, we want to find the speed of light in a mystery substance. We are given the critical angle and the fact that the light is traveling from the mystery substance into air. Remember the critical angle is the incidence angle, which will cause the refracted angle to be 90 degrees. Since we know that light bends away from the normal when traveling from a more dense to a less dense substance, we know that the light will be traveling from the mystery substance into the air. We can write down everything we are given in this problem. First off, we know that the index of refraction of air is 1. Remember that we are rounding it to 1. It's actually slightly higher than that since the index of refraction in a vacuum is 1. Next, we know that the critical angle is 53 degrees. We can then write down what we are trying to find, which is the velocity of light in the mystery substance. Since we don't have an equation with the variables that we have written down, we know that this will be a two-step problem. We will first have to find the index of refraction for the mystery substance, and then use that answer to find the velocity. It will be easiest for this problem if we use the general equation that we learned for Snell's law, since that algebra is easier. So the equation that we'll be using will be n1 times the sine of theta 1 equals n2 times the sine of theta 2. That leaves us with n1 sine of 53 equals 1 times the sine of 90. Now remember that the sine of 90 is 1. You can plug that in your calculator if you want to make sure. So 1 times 1 will be 1. To get n1 by itself, we need to divide both sides by the sine of 53 degrees. So the sine of 53 will cancel on the left-hand side of the equation. That will leave us with n1 equals 1 divided by the sine of 53 degrees. When we plug that into our calculator, we get the index of refraction of the mystery substance is 1.25. Let's change that in our problem from an unknown to a known. Now, we will use the equation for the index of refraction. That equation is the index of refraction equals the speed of light in a vacuum divided by the speed of light in the given substance. Now, we'll actually need to add to the list of our givens for this problem, since we know the speed of light in a vacuum is 300 million meters per second. Remember, it is actually slightly less. We've been rounding it up to 300 million. I wrote it as 3.0 E8 since that is how you will enter it into your calculators. Remember, for most of your calculators, you will type 3.0. Then you need to hit the second button on the top left. After that, you need to hit the EE button, then finally hit 8. On your calculator screen, the number should look like 3.0 E8. Remember, this is the way to enter numbers into your calculator when using scientific notation. So when we plug the numbers into the equation, we get 1.25 equals 300 million meters per second divided by the velocity of light in the substance. We want to solve for velocity, and it is on the bottom of the equation, so we will have to multiply both sides by velocity. When we do that, it will cancel out on the right-hand side. Then we will be left with velocity times 1.25 equals 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. Remember on our calculator, it will look like 3.0 E8. So that's how I've written it here. To solve for velocity, we need to get it by itself. So now we need to divide both sides by 1.25. 1.25 will cancel from the left-hand side of this problem. All we have to do now is to divide 300 million meters per second by 1.25. The answer our calculator gives us is 1.24 E8 meters per second. That can also be written as 1.24 times 10 to the 8th meters per second, or you could say it as 124 million meters per second. I hope this video helped you out.